Zonal statistics is used to calculate the cell value of a raster file within the defined zones of another file. In this video, I'll show you how to perform zonal statistics using a vector file and a raster file. I have a DM file as my raster file and local government areas in a state as my vector file. So we'll be calculating the minimum, maximum and average um, DEM of each local government area rather than just total surface and then we we'll also, also have a country data set here and population data we will calculate the average population the population of each state in the country and then I'll show you how to represent it on your map for better visualization so let's get right to it on your okay i close this up on your processing toolbox processing your toolbar click on toolbox and then on the search tab search for zonal statistics under raster analysis you see zonal statistics double click to open the input layer is the layer which you want to classify in this case my state's local government areas you select using the drop down and then the raster layer is the layer which you want is the image file the raster file in this case my DEM map of course it's band one the output prefix you simply enter what how you want it to be represented on the table say um lg dem and then the statistics to calculate this one we're performing it for a um dm data we do not need counts we do not need sum we need mean we could get standard deviation minimum and maximum for the file if you leave it this way it creates a temporary file otherwise you could save it to a file save it to a file enter your preferred name say special data hub do well to like this video and subscribe to the channel as support if you found this helpful and then when you're done check the open output file and run it typically doesn't take so long depending on the size of your data set close this up so check through the file your right click on it and open attribute table and on the attribute table you see the DM, the mean, the standard deviation, the minimum elevation, and the maximum elevation of each local government area. And you see the layers accordingly. So you see how the prefix was assigned here. To work on um, the labeling, if you double click on your layer, Double click on your label on label set to single labels. And if your maximum elevation is the most important um, feature of the map, you can select the maximum and apply. Close. Now you can see it. So you can always adjust the settings to suit your own preferred situation. To perform population counts, it's basically the same thing. Open the map, open your zonal statistics, select your vector file or the file which you want to use. In this case, ng admin, we use select the population data and then population.
And this time we need just the population count and you can save to the file save to a permanent file and run this up if you try this and it's throwing back some error a geometry error at times it happens this typically happens when um, you are working with data that was extracted from your raster file yeah i'll show you how to fix that once this is done close and when you right click check the attributes table you see the population count column has been created so for those who have the geometry error issue on your toolbox search for fixed geometry fixed geometries select the layer which you want to fix and then save to the file and fix if it's only selected features which you want you select the um, features on the map which you want to fix and fix thank you for watching and seeing you in the next video if you want to get the data set population data set and all of that check the description of the video for updates on it